Hey everyone, my name is Rich Shoemaker, and today we're going to build a Raspberry Pi, no IR infrared technically, camera using the new version 2 8 megapixel camera and a Raspberry Pi Zero W. A lot of people are going to say, well, why would I need a Raspberry Pi? Well, you probably don't. But do you have an infrared camera? If you have one, then yeah, you just skip this project. If you don't, stay tuned. Roll this video. <laughs> for the hardware build. I put the camera cable on upside down. I didn't find out that I made a mistake until much later. Next thing you want to do, you want to install your OS. The OS takes some time. You're going to want to make sure that you turn on Wi-Fi. Once you turn on Wi-Fi, you can do the rest of this inside the Pi Zero case. What I do, I use the Raspberry Pi 3 to get it all set up. What I did with the Raspberry Pi 3 was I set up my Wi-Fi. So once the Wi-Fi was set up, I threw my Raspberry Pi 3 back. I, threw, I put the Raspberry Pi 3 back and then I was able to do everything else on the actual Raspberry Pi Zero. Try not to do much on the Raspberry Pi 3 because the processor is different and you don't want your SD memory card and your updates to be done for that hardware when this hardware is different. So basically I just get the Wi-Fi set up and then I throw it right back in here. Now that the operating system set up, the next thing that I do is I set up the RPI Cam Web Interface Software. Super long name for what I call very awesome software. It allows you to use any web browser to control every feature of the Raspberry Pi camera. Now, we've set up the Raspberry Pi hardware, we've set up the operating system, and we've put the software on it, which is the RPI Cam Web Interface. Now, when we, when we reboot, it will launch directly into the software, and we'll see if there's any problems. And here's the problem. And you'll see it right here on screen. It keeps glitching, 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 glitching. I've seen this before. Uh, a lot of the times it happens when a cable comes loose on an existing camera, you'll get this error and you're like, I didn't do anything different from yesterday, but it might've dropped, it might've fallen, it might've gotten some stress and it pulls that cable out. So you basically do what I told you before. You yank this apart, make sure that the things are tight in there and then push them back down if they need to be pushed back down. And if they're backwards, make them the right way power is on and the green light came on and there it is here it is so there is the default configuration and as you can tell that camera is super blurry and everybody was telling me that that was one of those things that you had to watch out with this camera
Next, what I want to show you is what I actually ended up doing with the Raspberry Pi 0W, no IR, 8 megapixel. What other letters can I use? On the top camera, you can see this probably a little bit better. Uh, it's upside down. And what I've done is I've taken a power bank. You see the power in the bottom. I've taken the power bank and I have attached a ball head to it. There's a unicorn power bank and then I've super glued some quarter 20s on. I've added a, a ball joint and this right here is just a pressure clamp. So what you do is put it in and then you just clamp it down until it's tight. It's not going to go anywhere. And now you've got a selfie cam and or you can take pictures of other things. It's super quick, it's super fast, it's super easy. I really like this configuration a lot. And what's funny is the infrared camera is actually what I used to take that picture. That picture won me an Adafruit contest and it was taken at the Los Angeles Convention Center and it was the um, LA Anime Expo. I was just walking down a hall and I turned my camera because I had turned time lapse on. And so I would just aim my camera in the general direction. I wanted to get different pictures and that's the picture I got and I won a contest.